What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the Lights Army account, and today I'm pretty sure we're just gonna grab everything. So I've been moving some stuff around so we can get ready to do Tower of Dream, because you know it's tonight is the last night to do it. We're gonna see if we can push Depth 6, it still looks like nobody else has really jumped into it. Good lord, Jesus and Hossie pushing up to Step 7, that's kind of crazy, but... Let's see what we can do because we have to finish this event out. We have already finished the Profit Summoning event. We do need to buy something here, so we're just going to cash this in immediately, get another artifact chest. We'll get more throughout the week, which is great. We already finished Heroic Miracle. We've done pretty much everything we can in Ormus Workshop for now. Uh, I mean, we're just going to keep feeding these things off, and we might dump all of our resources in here, too, if we need to build more stuff. I like keeping the Plate of Courageous and the Magic Sauces. Uh, we, I don't know. We'll see if we actually fully keep them or not. But, uh, okay, let's see what we got going on here. Wow, we got 90 of these chests. These things add up really fast. I love them. I uh, will probably have a separate video talking about the autumn selection chest, which artifacts you should be going for out of this. But I think we're going to make that a completely different video because it really depends on where you are in the game. Uh, let me just grab some of these guys out. We're just going to keep getting these right here. Give me those star spawn resources. Okay. Okay, so mid-autumn event, we have, oh my goodness, we're actually short. Hold on, we're not there just yet. I thought we were going to get everything right now. So what do we have to do to get more of these? We need more carrot biscuits, and we get those from the rose bouquets. <sighs> we need more rose bouquets. So maybe we can't do everything. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. We'll see. Hold on. Let's finish the other stuff first. So we do have to do the story mode. We did take the path that lets us continue on here. Uh, we should be able to claim everything as far as the puppets go, right? Hold on. How, how much is it? 55, 55. That's 110 plus another 110. That's 220, 300. Actually, yeah, we can claim everything out. So it doesn't really matter which path we take first. We should be able to claim everything out here. Yeah, I don't really care about the ending stories. There's nothing happening at the ending stories, right? Yeah, it's fine. We're good. Let's get all these resources here. Buy all these puppets up so we can make even more food. I just did a ton of fusions. So, yeah, if you guys like the stories, let me know. I'm just... Ooh, 200, million, 200 million gold is going to help, even though that does take us to the ending one. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird interesting story but hey it is what it is so we did get a bunch of those resources now um okay that's good we really need promotion stones though that's the one thing we really need and this event really didn't help us that much with that moon cakes though now this is what i need to think about here we have 180 of these carrots normally i would go for the nine stars but i have so much food right now like, I already have a bunch of nines. Like, I have so much food. The, I, the problem is promotion stones right now. I have so much stuff that I can fuse up. I wonder if I even have... Yeah, and we now have all these puppets. I actually don't think I'm going to go for the food. I think I'm going for the hero copies. Because at this point, I'm going to need hero copies to build more heroes to get more sea lands done. And the nine star puppets really aren't what we're looking for. We pretty much have used up every 10 star we need to. We even have a couple extra 10 stars. We're lacking resources. So we have a couple E5 heroes ready to go for sea land. We just need to upgrade their levels and their stones, which is one of the bigger investments as far as time goes. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to be a good spot food wise. We pretty much have enough food that we could build another E5. But again, the biggest issue we're having right now, a promotion stones top cost 100,000 after the food is ready to, uh, to start building these. So don't know which way I want to go, but I do think what I'm going to buy are these chests right here leaves us with 30. So we'll wait to the end because I think we're going to get more. We already bought all these packs out. Yeah, we just need more of these. We need, what, 70 more blessings, which essentially means one carrot biscuit is 20. So if we need, quick math there, 70, we need 140. Be right back. 
so I guess we're not going to get all of it today. A little bit of clickbait, I guess, at, at the end. Uh, we'll get this by the end of the week, but we're just not going to be able to get it right now is the problem because we need like 1,400 more, I believe. I think that's how the math works out, right? One carrot biscuit is 20, so 20 times 70 is 1,400. We should get close to that by the end of the week, uh, so we will have to finish that a little bit later on. Sadly, we don't get to use those cores of transcendence right now, but hey, it's, it's okay. The big thing we need to decide here is what we're going to be building next on this account. I think our main focus as far as chess go are going to be 100% in the shadow faction to go for more Eloise. I think multiple Eloise is what we're going to need to build. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight copies technically. So that's not too bad. We have our pay to win artifact chest here. We have the mini one as well. <sighs> Do we want to buy anything in the glorious boost? We already got one crown. I don't know if it's worth investing in more Augustus magic balls. Demon bells, we already have enough for five demon bells. I cannot see us really needing more than that. I think it's better maybe saving up for more crowns down the road, but we're just getting, we have so many relics. Granted, this is like one of the last times we're going to be really spending on events. So relics aren't going to be coming as fast. I think we just saved them up. I think that's the game plan because right now on our celestial island, we have a total of 119. Uh, wow, we have 19 pay to win artifacts. Fully at splendid. Snowheart, I just we just don't use it right now. We can always regress one of these to build up like another AMB or something like that. We could start collecting magic stone swords again because there could be some very good value now that we have like tons of star spawn giving us tons of extra stats. And then also on top of that, these celestial islands giving us tons and tons of baseline stats and everything. They, they could be a big difference with magic stone sword. Now you're not getting one shot as much, so it might have more value. And I'm really wondering how it will perform in something like sea land. So maybe we need to start collecting magic stone swords. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think though, what we're going to do is wait and figure that out later. Would it hurt to buy one? No, not really, because we could already have a second one with the chest. We already got all of our VIP 13 rewards. We already cashed those in so that we have enough crowns for like crazy sea land stuff, crazy tower of dream. I think we're good. Literally the things we need to focus on right now are going to be spirit and gold, because right now we don't quite have enough spirit. We can, we can see if we can cap them out kind of close, yeah. 341 is close. It's definitely close. We could start leveling one of these shirts. You know what? Let's get the Sherlock kind of in a good spot too. Because I really want to tackle Fortress Sealand. I feel like we have like the correct heroes. We do need one more Sherlock. But I'm thinking what we do is we swap one of our Fiona's for a second Sherlock. That way we're running Sword Flash, double Sherlock, double Fiona, and uh, Saya. And then later... I don't know, we might need to upgrade another Sherlock. Or we might need another damage dealer. I don't know. You never know what the next Transcendence Hero could be after Aspen comes out. So, and Dust is depleted. Luckily, we got a decent stone at the very least. Uh, we're just going to throw some randomness on him for now. But we'll keep working on him. Again, like I said, resources are the biggest thing holding this account back right now. Mainly, to be honest, promotion stones and dust. Those are the two hardest ones to come by. And even if we were spenders, uh, you can get promotion stones here once a month, which that's not a lot. A lot. Dust you can kind of get, but 13,000 dust is not a lot. It takes like 250,000 dust for one full stone. And I mean, we still need to max out a stone on Eloise as well. So this is going to be a long trip. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys are experiencing in the Moon's Autumn event. Or no, not mid-autumn event. There we go. I, you know, flubbed a little bit there. But we will finish this by the end of the week. We'll get those 30 cores, 100 more relics. It should be good. But this was a pretty cool event. I like this one here attached to the Profit Orb loops. Uh, pretty good overall. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. See you guys next time.